Today we are going to play your favorite event. It's my favorite event. It's Evil Candyland, baby. None other than the Garden of Infinity. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing the subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. We are a sponsored content creator. Now that all the legalese and crazy stuff is out of the way, we can hang out, we can chill, we can roll the dice. Literally, roll the dice. Actually, it's more like tapping the button. I tap the button, but then the dice roll, and we hope for the best, and the best means we get the sweet epic chest, which means we can craft more gear. Oh man, was I going to keep rhyming that? To put fear into the hearts of the enemies we face in our next kingdom versus kingdom. How's it going? Baby sharks here. A B to beast. Puddin' R O K. Hanging out in the channel. Walnut. What's going on? We're gonna do this thing. I have mixed feelings about this event. There are moments where it feels bad, but then when you tally up the amount of goodies you got at the end, it might not actually be so bad after all. We'll give it a spin or a roll. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not just our gems getting rolled, but we actually end up with some good stuff. We'll see. We'll see. And of course, we've timed this live stream. Oh, it's no coincidence that it's right by reset because we're going to roll the dice and then reset's going to come around and we're going to roll the dice all freaking over again. So this should be a lot of fun. And sometimes people join into the stream and they're like, oh man, did I miss it? And it's like, well, guess what? We're going to do it all over again in about 45 minutes. So we're going to roll the dice and then we're going to roll the dice again. So you can't possibly miss it unless you come to the tail end of that, in which case, GG. GG Max says, good luck. Thank you for that. Chadwick French rocking the tea emojis. We, of course, have our tea with our Chisco Gaming branded mug. It feels funny to say that out loud. But we do actually have a mug. Merch is linked in the description of the video. Let's start some of these rolls. Members of the channel rolling in. Holy moly. Notification. Notification. Notification squad rolling in. Hello there, Iron Man AJ. Um, let's do this thing, shall we? What are we chasing down? Epic chests. How many do we want? All of them. All of the epic chests right away. We'll start with our free spin to make our way around the board. Three is kind of a weird choice. These fragment boxes. If we could just talk about these for a second. Quinn's Soul. Karox, Humility. Savage, Totem. They're okay. Quinn's Soul is a chess piece. I don't really know when I would use this. I don't need the damage to Barbarians. I would pretty much always prefer the Revival Plate. I guess for infantry, it's the best I've got, but I don't know. Karox, Humility is actually pretty legit. This pattern, that's actually super legit. Um, the, the infantry health is really good. For infantry, this pattern is actually the truth. The savage totem is right over here. I made this thinking it would help me in Soroli Assault and Crisis and Ian's Ballads. It does not. So it basically does me nothing. I don't even know what I'm doing with it. Also, Gladiator. Is there one other piece here? I'll sh we'll go look. We'll go look. What other piece was it? Oh, Gladiator. Also Gladiator. Okay. Is that a, that's also pants, isn't it? Gladiator's pants. Because, you know, gladiators, they gotta wear pants. 4% uh, cavalry health, 4% archer defense, and 5% damage to barbarians. There are just no barbarians in the game where you would want at an epic tier of a material quality to be committing that itemization toward <laughs> damage to barbarians, but maybe they'll change that. Maybe that's aspirational, right? Tougher barbarians incoming eventually, perhaps. Ali, Emra, thank you for the three euro super chat. Rocking a sticker going, hey, you. So uh, appreciate your super chat. Thank you for your support to me and the channel. I'm going to fix my volume to make sure I don't miss that. And, silly me, we're going to switch it up to our live stream view. 
We're going to switch it up to the live stream view. You can see now the recent donations above my head. And we do have a member of the channel. Let's see here. Aha, there it is. Ali Emra's donation rolling on in. Okay, so time to roll some more dice. See if we get something nice. I don't know. A two is good. A five is great. Six is great. And a three is just hilarious. Let's see what we can do here with our 50% off die. Cool. We've entered the hilarious zone. What'll it be for Chiskul? Double the wood, which is worthless to me because I have over 5 billion in wood tokens. Will it be double the material chess? Which would actually be pretty freaking legit. Um, two epic chess will be amazing. One step further, <laughs> double the speed ups is amazing. I mean, this is an epic chess worth of goodies if it's doubled, which is pretty amazing. Or is Chiskul going to get a lump of coal doubling my change in direction? It's these moments that make Evil Candyland evil. <laughs> this is where it gets its name. Because you get your hopes up so high, and then you land on a reverse. Oh, gosh. Baby Shark is pointing out that it might be beneficial for the new Golden Kingdom event. Interesting idea. I'll have to check that out. Devil's Knights, good to see you in the chat. Hello, 24-hour stream soon. Oh my gosh, Aslan requesting the 24-hour stream? I don't know about that. Let's start with this. We're rolling the dice. We've got a double. We're hoping for a two, three, or a four. Here we go. What do we get? It's moments like this. That gave Evil Candyland its name. Hashtag quietly sips his tea while he contemplates his life choices. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Come on. Uh, Kevin Kurz, hello. Hello. Hi there, friends. Hello. Interestingly, it didn't even double my direction reversal. It didn't even double my direction reversal. It just it just reversed my direction. So Diego says, hey, just say hi to Juggernaut for me. He was king in my last alliance. So oh, that's cool. Very cool. Run and hide, says Umax. Run and hide. Run away! No! I mean, one direction change isn't so bad. How many direction changes could we possibly get? So, anyways, we're now making our way, I think, back toward the gold die. We do see that our direction is that way, even though this doubled should mean I'm going the same way I was going, but whatever, this is better for me. Just take my gems. A one is amazing. I do want material chess. A two on my way back around the board would be phenomenal. But instead, we double our lols. And you see, it's moments like this. It's moments like this that make Evil Candyland evil. Because you see, now I've got double. Double could be really cool. Or double could be really terrible. If I get a six, double of a spot that gives you nothing, doubles nothing, it's zero, it's still nothing. Devils, thank you for the $5 super chat to the fund to replace those gems on Evil Candyland. Uh, well, let's see how it goes. How bad could it be? How bad could it possibly be? We could land on the three and doubled would be weird. I would basically skip all the best spots on the board. Whatever. Take my gems. What do we got? A two. <laughs> or it could be building speed ups. It could always just land on building speed-ups. It's like Esmeralda all over again up in here. It's like Esmeralda all over again. If y'all didn't know Esmeralda back in the day, how did that even work? You would spend gems for like a divination, and you'd either get something from a random collection of rewards that you couldn't see what the collection of rewards was, I think, or you'd get gems and if you got gems you actually made out like a bandit 
and usually you get wrecked. Anyways, this is certainly better than Esmeralda, although my luck here is off to quite the start. We're looking for, I don't know, a 5 or a 6 would be cool. Even a 2 would be great. Let's see how we do. 3. Okay. So as long as we get anything other than a 1, we're cool with this roll. I always regret when I say anything other than. It, it never works out, but here we are. We're rocking the silver dice, passing go, seeing how this works out for us. Three. Okay. Hey, I mean, 45 hours of speed ups is pretty legit. It also landed us on the literal best spot on the board for going in this direction. We are going to claim the extra rewards. The sound that goes along with that is yoink. And we will continue on our way. This is a gold die moment. You know this from watching my videos. This is the spot. This is the spot where things could go really haywire. Um, if I get a one, that's four chests when I use the gold die. If I get a two, all right, well, I do really kind of need gold. If I get a three, it's going to double the rewards for the next spin, which means we're at a four X bonus, which is insane. If I get a four... I'm going to be getting a bunch of patterns I don't really need anymore. If I get a 5, it is still going to be value because it's going to skip me all the way forward, and I'll still get two epic chests. And if I get a 6, I will get six epic chests. I mean, it's the dream. It's the dream if we land on a 6. <laughs> and if we don't, how bad could it be? I got a 50-50. Okay, I got a 50-50 on the good stuff. And technically, we'll even call it a two-thirds chance if we include the 4X rewards, because that's just hilarious. So here we go. Gold die coming in hot. We're looking for one, five, or six. Hey! We have a winner! We've got a winner. Four epic chests. I'm going to take that and feel pretty good about it. I feel so good about that. I feel so good about that. We're actually going to drop that in on top of the stream here. We're going to drop that in on top of the stream. No, it's not a wipe count this time. This is going to be an epic chest count, and we'll give it a four. Looking good. Boom. Put that right on top. Right up top, baby. We're counting them off. We're counting them off. That's, that's actually pretty legit. That was actually that was pretty legit. That was, that was good. If it goes like that, we're in very good shape. Here we are. We're still, by the way, the best part about getting a one is that I'm still in the hot zone. A two is hilarious. And a five is awesome. Five is amazing. So here we go. What do we get? Will it be for the lols? Will it be a two? Okay. Sign me up for the lols. <laughs> Sign me up for the lols. Our roll is doubled. Now it's only doubled because I don't have a gold die to make it 4x. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't have a gold die. So it's just it's just doubled. It's only doubled. Here we are. We're gonna rock the silver die yet again. We're looking for a three. Even a two is really good because doubled is gonna skip me ahead over here, which is really, really nice. So one third chance we get the good stuff. There is a chance we end up over here and get research speed ups, which is not amazing. And if we get a six, it's actually gonna roll the uh, silver die twice and give me the rewards for each one, which is kind of weird. So we could have rolled lols into more lols. I mean, let's see how it goes. Hulk, good to see you in the chat. Here we are. Give me that three, baby. Six. Okay, it's lols time. The dice should roll twice. A six again? No, stop it. Reverse. No. And it didn't even roll twice. No, I'm not muted. I'm just pausing to think and reflect. Well, 
Well, <sighs> yep, that happened. What direction am I even going anymore? All right, we're going back. We're going back around the board the other way. And um, hoping for the best. <laughs> hoping for the best. We're looking for a lot of interesting rolls here. A uh, two, three, or four are all awesome, and a six is just going to be uh, craziness. So let's see how we do. Maybe we'll get something good. Five. All right, the only roll that wasn't kind of crazy. Black Knight, thank you for the $5 super chat. Got 12 epics in one roll today. Hope you have awesome luck too. Well, thank you for that super chat, and congratulations on getting a crazy amount of epics. 12 and run one roll. I mean, that's living the dream. That's living the dream. So far, we're dreaming. I just can't tell if we're living it or not. Here we are. We're going to roll the dice. We're looking for a four. Four would be nice. Uh, a one is crazy town. Who knows what the heck will happen if we roll a one. Let's see how we do. Oh gosh, it's a one. Come on. What is happening? And it's a one again. Well, that was a lot of hype for not a lot of movement. Not going to lie. <laughs> not going to lie. A lot of hype for not a lot of movement. So that puts us right on top of this sweet old level three material choice chest. We're still in the running for the good stuff. We're looking for a two. Or it would be pretty hilarious to get a five to get the double rewards. Let's see how this goes. Time for the silver die. Three. Gah. <laughs> Close, but no cigar, I believe, is the expression for that. Now we've got an interesting stretch of territory we need to cross, because this right here, this is the danger zone. A one is fantastic. Two or three, it's all good. It's all good. Let's see how we do. One, two, or three are phenomenal. Six is interesting. It moves us really far along the board, which is really not the worst. I mean, if we were going to miss these spots, then a six was probably our best bet. We did get a material choice chest out of the deal. And now, if we roll a six again, I mean, we could get our favorite spot on the board, the reversal. So how bad could this be? Let's find out. Four. Okay. Hey, speed ups is good. And we get more extra rewards over here. Now, as you know, I don't count the extra rewards in the count of epic chests for the run. So we're still going to count it as four epic chests for the run, even though we did get some good stuff down here. I mean, the resources are whatever. The epic chest is good stuff. All right. You got this, says Double Knights. I hope so. Hulk says, lol, you can make it, chess bro. I don't know. Positive thoughts. Is this like one of those things where you create in your mind the version of reality that you want to experience? Is that how that works? Anyways, here we are. If we roll a two, it's my favorite spot on the board. A four would be solid. We are in we are in epic chess territory. I mean, we could just outright roll a six here and get some good stuff. Here we go. What do we? <laughs> I'm just gonna pour myself some more tea. I can't. I can't even right now. I can't. I can't even. I can't even. Favorite spot on the board. Favorite spot on the board. Also, I think I missed a super chat. Hold the phone. Let me go back and find that. Let me go back and find that. I think I missed a super chat. Christopher Kren with the 20 CZK donation. Have I looked up Klein Bottle yet? I'm pretty sure I did at one point, but I already don't remember what it is. Gosh darn it. Thank you for the 20 CZK donation. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Well, we've changed directions yet again. A plot twist, if you will. Or at least a direction change. We're going to keep rolling the dice. How bad could it be? Drop that hashtag on Twitter with at Chiscool. <laughs> How bad could it be? <sighs> okay, well, here we go. Silver dice. One, two, or three is really good. Five. We're all about the lulls today. We're all about the lulls. We get double the rewards. As you know, double nothing is nothing. Double building speed ups is kind of like nothing. Um, so a two or a four, or sorry, 
Two or a six would be pretty weird spaces to land on. They'd be pretty weird spaces to land on. But what are the chances? One and three. But what are the chances? Here we go. Silver die is in. Five. All right. Double the food is not so bad. I think this is going to be a silver die, even though these spots are really quite, quite tasty. They're quite tasty. Let's see how this goes. A four would be the dream, and a three would be also quite good. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it because now we're in the best spot on the board. Drop in the chat where you think we're going to land. Is it the one where we get four chests? Is it the five where we jump to here for two chests? Is it the coveted six where we will get six chests? Is it a three for the lols? Three for the lols? Drop it in the chat and throw a like on the video for good luck if you don't mind. If you're enjoying this, consider rocking a subscription for daily Rise of Kingdoms content. Subscribing is 100% free. What are you waiting for? Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Oh as I spill my tea all over myself. Skills, baby. All right, here we go. Gold die time. Chat's got some interesting feelings about what this is going to be. Here we go. Direction reverse counter, please. Oh my gosh. We need a direction reverse counter. How many times have I landed on the direction reverse? Like, it, at least twice where the outcome was doubled, right? I think we're at five direction reverses. I think we're at five direction reverses. I'm going to plug that in. Hold on. We're going to plug in the direction reverses. We're doing that. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Direction reverse five. Okay. And I got to just relocate that. Boom. Okay. We've gotten more direction reverses than we have epic chess amazing amazing all right chat thank you for the well wishes <laughs> and for those of you that predict my demise well i guess you could say you called it here we go gold dice double or 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 that's well, not nothing hopefully hopefully oh here we go gold die four um okay could be worse could be worse don't need the patterns so it's kind of like nothing it's it's actually it is kind of like nothing it's technically not nothing, but it is kind of like nothing. Uh, all right, let's see here. I heard the magical sounds of a donation. Black Knight, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. You've now got a badge that shows how long you've been a member. You get all the sweet emojis and... Your name shows up in green, which means it's a lot easier for me to see your chats when I'm playing the game and glancing at the chat. So let's get those hype emojis going to welcome them to the channel and keep this party going. Oh, man. Here we go. Do we rock a gold die here? Do we rock a gold die here? I think we do. I think this is good enough. If we get a one, it propels us all the way over there, which is quite good. If we get a two, I mean, it's the dream. I think we do a gold die. And I mean, we end up over here. It's pretty, I, I mean, this is hilarious. We have hilarity in our sights. A five, how bad could it, how bad could it be? I like catch myself saying it. I'm like, should I say it? No. Should I? Uh, maybe. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do the gold die again. A one is amazing. A two is amazing. Let's try our luck and see how this goes. Here we go. Gold die is in. Four. All right. Two blue chests. Could be worse. Devil's Knights, thank you for the $10 super chat. Called it. Said four. Well, she called the shot. I suppose she called the shot there. Uh, I mean, the material chests, I don't know. I mean, they, they, those, those items could be interesting at some point. There is an item in there that's pretty good, actually. And I would, if I had the materials, if only I could get them from somewhere. Do you know where I get materials? It's not here, is it? If only I could get the materials, I would probably craft the gladiator pants for the 5% infantry stats. That actually seems pretty good. Let's make our way around the board. Chase is a three, four, or a five. Four is totally fine. 30 hours of speed ups. 
Chase is now a six. We're looking for a six for that sweet epic chest. Two. Okay, more of the blueprints. Chase is still that same spot. It's a four. Will we get the four? We got a five. Bunch of wood that we don't really need. Go figure. Uh, and now we're making our way back around the board. Really, a six would be a fine roll to just get us as far as possible around the board. Five will go ahead and do that for us. That's a solid roll. That's a very solid roll. And from here, gosh, we're stuck with some weird questions. Do we gold die this? I've only got one gold die now. I don't think I do. Because if I land here or here, yeah, okay, I got two spaces where I can get epic chests. That's good. But if I do the same roll, if I get like a one, two, three, four, or five as my, pardon me, next roll, then I can still do the gold die and I could double even more chests. So I don't think I do it. I think what we do here, I think it's correct to use the silver die and we hope for a one or a two. Here we go. Six, of course we got a six. Of course we did. Very well. <laughs> Oh, man. Literally, there was a one in six chance. Anywhere but there. Uh, well, well, here we are in this magical spot again. Um, it will be hilarious to get a one to see where we end up. I don't... We shouldn't use a gold die here. We really shouldn't use a gold die here. But it will be funny to use a gold die here. It will be funny because this double is just hilarious. And all of these spots are actually legit. Oh, crap. I'm going to do it. All right, die. For the live stream. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. Um... What's the best way to do it? The best, best way to, should I gold die or not? Gold or silver? Drop it in the chat. Whatever I see more of, I'm going to do. And don't spam the chat. You're going to get timed out. And there's like a zillion moderators on right now. It's not going to go well. Put once into the chat, gold or silver. <laughs> uh, Garden of money losing, says Kian. Uh, Black Knight says, well, that would have been bad. If I had used the gold die over here, I would have ended up here and had two epic chests at least, you know? You know? You know? That would have been pretty cool. Gold, 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 silver, gold, baby shark weighing in, catch you later devils, gold, well, it's so far... All in on the gold dice from the chat. Chat wants to go for the gold, except for Max, who's looking for copper. Unfortunately, that's not one of my options, so we'll have to go with the next best thing, which is the gold die. A one? Who knows what the heck is going to happen? Sometimes it rolls the dice twice, sometimes it doesn't. A three is double the chess. A four is going to be a solid amount of speed ups. And a five is going to be two more gold dice. I mean, that's the best return on my investment. Well, no, this is, but this is hilarious. I don't know. This could be hilarious. Let's see how it goes. I feel like stone was the least hilarious thing I could have gotten. We're going to roll the silver die now. <laughs> oh, man, that's something else, isn't it? At least we didn't get a direction reverse as the next roll. As we go in and we'll claim over here more material crates just for showing up and I say just for showing up, but I really mean spending my gems. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We've got seven chances left. Seven chances left. Baby Shark says OMG. I know. I know. I know. Chiskul, just ask yourself, what would Spartan do? If only Spartan were here to hear that he is being quoted in that way. Ouch, says Black Knight. Lowell says Desca. Oh my gosh. Iron Man AJ is using those member-only emojis with the rip emoji. Yikes. 
Here we go. We're making our way back around the board. A two or a one would be swell. Four is double, but there's nothing hilarious to double up ahead. There's nothing particularly hilarious. Uh, we'll see how this goes. One. Actually, that might have been the best roll I could have got there. I mean, it's kind of like a lot of gems to get two blue chests. But, you know, for this event, that's that's a, a good outcome. We'll roll another silver die, making our way around the board. Four. That was really a close call to landing over here. We're going to rock one more silver die before we get our gold die in our pocket to save for a special occasion. Really, a two or a three would be great. Of course, a four would be fantastic. Here we go. Well. Well. Uh, let's uh, make a little modification here. Little modification. Boop. And just adjust that real quick for everybody. Cool. Cool. That was cool. Super cool. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Just just in case uh, anyone's keeping track of this kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of gems on spots that gave me nothing, isn't it? That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of gems on spots that didn't give me anything. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This game mode is horrible. I mean, how does this work? Is it because I call it Evil Candyland that I don't get good things, or is it because it's evil? Am I just calling a spade a spade? Speaking of spades. A one, this has nothing to do with spades. A one or a two would be phenomenal. A three would be great. A four would be amazing. I'm going to save my gold die to double something even better. Assuming that, I mean, I assuming, yeah, no, anything I get, I can't, I can't land here, which is good. So anything I get is actually a solid outcome. Here we go. What do we get? Four. Careful what you wish for. Careful what you wish for, Chiskel. Gold was probably the less... The less exciting item in that stretch. But now, it all goes out the window. We're doubling it. We're using our gold die. We land on the one, and we get a 4x modifier. Hilarious, perfect for a live stream. If we get a three, it's going to jump us ahead. If we get a four, that is going to be six chests. If we get a five, it's research speed ups. Oh my gosh, lump of coal. And if we get a six, I mean, at least we get two blue chests out of the deal. That's not so bad, right? Drop it in the chat what you think is about to happen with my gold die here. What do you think? One, three, four, six. Troll me with a five. <laughs> oh, boy. It's better for uh, high spenders. Yeah, this is definitely a high spender event. This is definitely a high spender event. Buck, member of the channel, that yellow badge, hanging out, dropping some chats, greeting Buku. 1554 number one says Carlos. I heard this game is rigged on rolls, already decided. Mm, grumble, grumble, grumble. All right. Here we are. We're rocking the gold die. We're in it to win it. Chad is locking in their gamble on what I'm going to get. Fish says a seven. Here we are, six-sided die. If we get a seven, I don't know what I'll do. Not possible. Here we go. What do we get? Two. Oh, well, the good news about a two. The good news about a two is if I roll a two again, then I'm going to get more of these sweet epic material chests. That could happen, right? That's in the cards for us, isn't it? Isn't it? Did anybody guess a two? Did anybody guess a two is my real question. Did anyone in the chat guess a two? Uh, all right. Here we are. I am not Canadian, for those asking. 
Sea Dog, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. You've now got the badge next to your name that changes color for the longer you are a member, and you get all these sweet emojis, member only. Also, your name shows up in green, so I'm more likely to see it. Let's get those hype emojis, welcoming them to the channel. And Christopher Kren, thank you for the CZK donation of 20. Uh, it's two Mobius strips in one. Hmm. Hmm. Them blueprints and gold. Indeed. Blueprints and gold. Will we get something exciting on our way with the remaining two dice rolls we have? And keep in mind, we purposefully timed this live stream that we're going to catch reset in less than 10 minutes. And we're going to do this all over again. So if you want to see those numbers keep going up, <laughs> uh, it's a little painful. But that could happen. It could happen. Here we go. Silver die is in three. Of course we get the research speed ups. At least in this next roll, I can get a blue material crate. I can get a hilarious spot where who the heck knows what's going to happen. I could get two epic chests. I could get, uh, you know, some speed ups. I could get another gold die. I said out and about with a Canadian accent. Did I really? Who is the best early pairing with Richard? I mean, early game, you probably only have like Boudica, you know? Boudica, Joan of Arc. I mean, like best best though? Oh, son of a verification. All right, hold the phone. We got to verify. We need to verify. Okay, we're verified. That was easy enough, actually. And we do need to send out some gatherers real quick. Head back out, uh, get, you know, a little bit of stone, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What else we got? Oh, more stone. Very good. Boom, boom. Get it done. Now, one roll remaining. Baby Shark, thank you for that hype sticker with a $5 super chat. Much appreciated. Cheers to you. That's my redemption for saying gold. Lol. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Gecko Gaming got 14 epic chests from 26 spouts. Of course he did. Because everyone else who does that event right over here. I'm not even referring to it by name. I'm like, that event. That event. I'm, I'm like mentally distancing myself from this now. Oh my gosh. I did not roll dice in that event. <laughs> uh, what am I even saying anymore? I'm going to roll the dice. Here we go. One, two. Honestly... Gosh darn it, I'm going to say it out loud. Anything but a three would be kind of a cool outcome. Here we go. Rock the dice. You, I mean, you, you can't be serious. <laughs> you can't be serious. Can you really... Can, I... Mm. Thank you, Madge, for the 50 sec donation. Love your channel and your content. Keep going. Cheers to you. Thanks for the emojis and the donation. Much appreciated. Sometimes I just don't even know what's happening in this event. How is this a thing? How is this a thing? I mean, hopefully it's entertaining. Is, is this enter are you, are you entertained? If you're entertained, I'm out of chocolate tea. Consider dropping a like on the stream and subscribing for daily. Rise of Kingdoms content that helps you get value and smash your enemies. In this case, I'm helping you decide. Is this worthy of spending your gems on? You make the call. We just spent about 20,000 gems. We got four epic chests from that. Doesn't take a lot of mental math to figure this one out, does it? All right. Better luck after reset. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. On the topic of videos that help you get value and smash your enemies, allow me to plug for just a moment the video we released today about gathering resources. I did not expect that would be such a popular topic, especially because I already have a whole playlist on it. And yet... People loved to read or watch uh, 
<laughs> watch a video about gathering resources. So uh, if you want to check that out, that was particularly popular. We also, I, I give up. I don't know what people want to watch anymore. I surrender. I give up. I did a video about migrating to Kingdom 75, and we interviewed Negan and Juggernaut. Negan, um, most of the time, is holding the king title in the kingdom. Occasionally, I hold it to Gemma Buffer, too. And uh, Juggernaut is 255 million power. Who knew that a whole bunch of people would want to listen to the three of us talk about Kingdom 75 and migration here? Um, we have had, I, I am not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that we've had over 100 players migrate in that are under 35 million power, which was kind of surprising to me. Like, I didn't expect there would be that much interest, but there is. Uh, come on in. Water's fine. If you're under 35 million power, we are Imperium. Yes, right now I'm stalling till reset, till I can roll the dice again. We're just hanging out. Stalling, hanging out. We got five minutes till we roll the dice again. We'll hang out with the chat. I'm just saying. So um, anyways, we got room for more players in the kingdom. And uh, regardless of what your power is, we'll find you a good home. So send me your refugees, your zeroed players, your rebuilding masses. <laughs> we'll find you a good home here, even if it's just a hang out for a bit and eventually go somewhere else. That's totally fine. Um, the kingdom has space. I'm quite convinced that if you come on over and you hang out, you'll find you like it here so much and that we're so well organized that you'll want to stay. We're currently in the middle of doing three kingdom buffs during a two-day window for Game of Power. We already did a training buff today. I think it just... Oh, we still have it active. We still have the science buff uh, sort of concluding in a couple minutes here. And then uh, at 1700, we're doing a building buff. So anyways, even 10 million power players. Yes, indeed, even 10 million power players are coming to the kingdom. Now, I want to I wanna make sure that I couch this the right way. I mean, we made like literally a 30-minute video where we tried to explain some of the pros and cons of like going to an older kingdom. Um, we're a very old kingdom. So you don't want to come here if you care about Canyon a lot. Because, like, you're always going to... If you're a 10 million power account and you come here, like, you're going to not win Canyon, okay? It's not going to happen. But you can accumulate your daily rewards anyways. And, like, those are probably fine. You're really not missing much from this. Um, you don't want to come to a really old kingdom if you care a whole heck of a lot about bringing five marches to battle in the open field because like you're going to be behind on commanders if you're 10 million power which like okay no 10 million power player pardon me is sending five marches anyways but like your relative commander power is always going to be behind but if what you're looking for is a really well organized kingdom where when you dump your troops into a rally or a garrison it's always going to be the very best commanders available with the best equipment and the best build because we've tested the heck out of it extensively to demonstrate quantitatively that we have arrived at a solid conclusion. I mean, we might be wrong. Testing is certainly far from perfect. Um, but if all of that interests you, then we're kind of a more interesting place where you can just show up, enjoy the Daily Kingdom buffs, um, and uh, have a good old time. Um, you can find other continents and kingdoms that are well organized. Um, this is just kind of like the low effort solution would be to just come to 75 and you just plug right into that. Um, you can find one. It's just you'll have to do your own verification if the kingdom is as good as they say they are. It may take a couple migrations to figure that out, but like really that's not so bad. As long as there's not a civil war, which like, these days, civil wars are really in style. It's really quite remarkable. It's quite remarkable to me. And look at that. Look at how we have managed to fill the time with only one minute remaining till reset. I mean, baby. Baby shark. <laughs> I said baby, and then I looked over here, and, and baby shark's name was here. Coincidence. It's also a great spot to grow. I would like to think that it is. Um, I'd like to think it is. 
Royal Knight says, Chisco, please show me a Bybar's talent build for open field. Bybar's talent build. You know, this is the uh, first talent build request of this stream that we saw anyways. Here is a Bybar's open field build. This one is pretty decent. I feel pretty good about this build. I feel pretty good about this build. Uh, it's good for open field because you're going to use Rally and Cry to get in these like short skirmishes and then you step away and you get a heal and some speed and you're battling again and you get step away, you get healing and speed because Bybars, when he breaks combat, gets some healing and some speed, you know? Um, Gecko said something. What will Gecko say? I like Civil Wars. <laughs> Ge Gecko, Civil Wars are good for business for you. You cover the heck out of those. Civil Wars are good for business. All right. Speaking of being good for business, I'm just going to, for a quick second, force quit the game, reload it, and then we'll start doing ye old daily quests and dice spins. We've got 30 more dice to roll. You can see up top how well that's going for us so far. Come on, people. Uh, okay, so we're going to turn off the iPad Pro, boop, do a quick old force quit. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're back in business. Maybe there'll be a cool event to do, I don't know. Um, have you ever made a video on playing zero to hero free to play? I've not really done that. I've not really done that. The closest thing I have, and don't confuse me saying that, that this is, don't confuse that this is me saying I have a free to play account, I don't. The closest thing I have is my restart, where I spent a lot at the start, and now I only spend on the 30-day gem supply, but I miss out on so many of the events that a free-to-play player would just go and do because I don't have the time, that like, eh, that's probably an approximation, but not a perfect one. Okay, we're back in business. We claim the good stuff. We get a chest. We get, uh, yeah, sure, some gems. Going to need those after doing this. We get our VIP 17 daily chest. Mm -mm. Three blue chests and three sculptures is quite nice. Quick explanation for the passports. The quick explanation is that the higher your power is, the more passports you need to migrate to a kingdom. It does depend on your own power how many passports you will need to go and migrate. All right, we did get a old refresh on the Mysterious Merchant. We're going to go spend down on that. And then the good stuff, the good stuff that you're all here for is none other, none other than the Garden of Infinity, a.k.a. my favorite event and yours, also known as Evil Candyland. If we look at our event calendar, not a lot to see, actually. Not a lot to see. We're coming into the end of the week here. Um, there is the Osiris Invitational this weekend, which is kind of exciting. Uh, we're looking forward to covering that. I think it's time to roll the dice. We're back to the dice. Now, where did we last leave our dice here? Where did we last leave our dice? Game feed is blurry? Wait, is the game feed blurry? Not on my screen? Really? Game feed is blurry. Keep me honest on that, chat. Is that a thing? Or does somebody perhaps have a slow internet connection? Might be me. Might be you. Okay. Alliance shop. Alliance shop is, in fact, a good place to get passports. Chat wants to see my troops very well. Here are the troops. We keep a lot of T4 for field fighting. We are starting to rebuild our T5 cavalry. Rip my cavalry. Kingdom versus kingdom. You devil you. All right. Dice time. Dice time. Here we go. All right. Chat says we're good. Chat says we're good. Silver die, one, two, or three is fantastic. We do have the direction reverse on the board. Where will we end up? Almost a direction reverse. Not going to lie. That was a little terrifying. Ali B, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. You get the badge showing how long you've been a member. You get the custom channel emojis 
and your name shows up in green, which makes it so much easier for me to see and respond to your chats. Welcome to the channel, and let's get those hype emojis rolling, welcoming them as a member. So, we do the thing that we're looking to do here. We're going to rock the silver dice. A two would be amazing. Four is... There's like a magnet on the 2x spot. We keep landing there. Uh, let's see just how far down the board we go with the double spin. Five is a lot of food. And we do land on the 35 spot. There we go. Claiming those extra epic material crates. Rip my gems, making up for all of the non-epic material crates we've got in this run. We're going to roll the dice again. We don't even have a gold die, so that's not even a consideration. Here we go. Two is a phenomenal roll. That was really quite good. We're not quite at a spot where we should rock a gold die, so instead we'll do the next best thing. That is a silver. I mean, that's the only option. And good thing we hadn't used a gold die, but now is that special moment. That special moment where we will use a gold die. Is it going to be the one, which will get me two epic chests? Will it be a two, which, please be a two, will be six epic chests. It could even be a four, which would be two blue chests, not the worst. Heck, it could be hilarious and we could get the double silver die again. That could be pretty nuts. Where will it land? We're just crying because of your bad luck, says Black Knight. Well, I appreciate the sympathy. I appreciate the sympathy. My deepest apologies that I'm... Oh, my stream is tear-worthy. Sadness. All right. All right. Here we go. Just you have better luck winning the lottery than doing good here. <laughs> uh, gambling. What a thing that is. What a thing that is. Um, okay. Well, as they say... The house always wins, <laughs> and this is no exception. Here we are. We're going to rock the gold die. Chad is hoping for some good stuff. A couple people think I'm going to get a three, which will be pretty hilarious. Here we go. Gold die. What do we got? Six. Pretty far to go, and it's that stinking stone spot again. <laughs> uh, Buck, thank you for the $5 Canadian super chat. Gotta go make dinner. No stream fairy for me. Thanks. Just later. Hey, catch you later. Cheers to you. Appreciate that donation. And enjoy dinner. Uh, so we're going to roll the dice again. One, two, or three is what we're looking for. Even a six would be quite good. Where do we end up? That spot. That spot. Uh well, at least we're keeping score, right? At least we're keeping score of what's happening. Right? We'll just um we'll just keep going until our luck improves, right? The beatings will continue until morale improves. I'm pretty sure that works that way, right? That totally that totally works that way. Okay. Cool. Evil, evil Candyland. Dude. Dude. Well, we're headed back the other way. A 2-3 or a 4 would all be fantastic. Hey! Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hot damn. It's about time that we got something good. Epic count can now escalate. Up to 6. Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. Wow. About time, I would say, don't you think? <laughs> don't you think we were a little, just a little overdue for landing somewhere nice? Chiss Gold is gathering on Alliance resource points. Give the percentage back to the bank like normal nodes. I don't know if gathering on resource nodes spawn in using your alliance skill using your nature's gift i don't know if that contributes back to your bank but if someone does i would be eager to hear if that is the case okay 
So we get back into the mix here. We're pretty far down the board. There's a good stretch of hot stuff ahead of us. Uh, a five would be quite exceptional. Let's roll the silver dice and see how we do. Two, we go random. What's it going to be? Four. So close, yet so far from the good stuff. We land on gold. From here, there's still some good stuff ahead. One, two, or three are the jam. Let's see if we can get some proverbial jam. Five is going to move us... Uh, okay, not as far around the board as I thought. I thought I was landing on the three spot. That's okay. That's okay. This is fine. It wasn't the starting space. I'll take it. We continue round the board, getting the 2x rewards. Now this, I mean, a two is good, a three is good, a four is good. Double the rewards could be awesome. Or we could get a direction reverse. That could happen, right? Where do we land? Four. Okay. Hey, you know what? You know what? I'm even, I'm even feeling really generous. I'm feeling really generous. I'm even going to call that an epic chest. I'm going to do it. I think it counts. I think it counts. I think it counts. Four blue chests is an epic. I'm going to take it. Just, just let me have this victory. Okay. <laughs> let me, let me have this victory. I know that's not what that is. Uh, who's better at peacekeeping, Athelflaed or Lohar? Athelflaed keeps the peace. Don't mess with Athelflaed. Uh, Lohar is really good for getting a lot of experience, though. Joking, joking aside, uh, Athelflaed is more universally great. Uh, you think he means the Alliance Resource Pit? Uh, the Resource Pit does not contribute to your Alliance Storehouse. Here we go. Rolling the dice. Honestly, like a three, four, or a five would be amazing. Two is okay. That means that a one, two, or three could now also be amazing. Four, that stinking stone spot. That stinking stone spot that's got my name on it, apparently. All right, now we're entering an interesting part of the board. A one is hilarious. A two is good. Um, even a four would be the jam. But we could end up just scooting right past all the good stuff. In my perfect world, we land... Like here, even, I mean, uh, if we, do, if we don't, let me say that differently. If we don't land here, the next best thing is going to be like here or here. And if we land here, at least I can use the gold die and double the, this amazing stretch of goodies. All right. So here we go. Silver die is in six. Wow. Okay. And this is a weird spot, but I'm going to double it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to ask the chat where the heck we're going to land. Is it going to be, you tell me, drop it in the chat. Are we going to get the 2x rewards? I like 2x rewards. Um, I mean, like with the gold dice, they will be quadrupled. That will be hilarious. Will we get gold? Will we get four epic chests? Will we get 90 hours of speed ups? Or, hey, I mean, we could get... The equivalent of an epic chest over here if it gets doubled. Or, well, I don't know. Should I even say it out loud? Should I even say it out loud? What's it going to be? Where are we going to land? What does chat think? Six. Six. Three. Six. You're all evil. <laughs> You're all... Oh my gosh. 2x into the starting point. Eric, why? No. Six, four, six, seriously? One, 15 hour speed ups, six. Holy geez, chat is reading how my past spins have gone and deducting that that would be very logical. Well, let's see what happens. We rock the gold dice. Please give me something nice. Come on, here we go. Two, definitely could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse, but it still could be pretty bad on our way around the board. One, two, or three is the jam. Here we go. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, so a little awkward. A little awkward. Update the count up top. We're doing great. This is great. Everything's fine. This is to this is fine. This is totally this is totally fine. Everything is fine. 
Everything is fine. If you're enjoying this video, consider dropping a pity like on the live stream. 380 people watching. I mean, somebody has to offer a pity like for that, right? Am I right? Let's keep it going. We're going to roll the silver dice to make our way around the board. Six is really weird that we keep getting the 2x spot. So now, I mean, this could be good. It could also be bad. Uh, we could... I, th I have a good feeling about this, though. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I have a good feeling about this spin. I don't know why. I could use the gold die. I could do it. This is just, it's, it's just statistically incorrect, given that I have better odds down here. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. Don't do it. Don't. Don't use your gold die. I have a good feeling, but I just... I just... I don't want to... 10 out of 10 on the luck, says Gecko Gaming. Dude, this is how this event always goes for me. Always. <laughs> Except last time. Last time it was actually kind of kind to me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to rock the silver dice. It is doubled. Will we land somewhere? That was close. Could have been a five. Five would have been pretty bad. Five would have been pretty bad. We're going to rock... Man, this is such a good stretch. It's so tempting to gold die this. Because if I, I if I get a one, I just double my gold die. I mean, that's just amazing. That's that's honestly almost as good as doubling an epic chest, isn't it? To double my gold dice? I feel like it is. I feel like I've been undervaluing that. Darn it, I'm going to gold die this spot. Chat, what's it going to be? We're going to use the gold dice. Is it going to be a one for maximum hilarity? No, there's another roll that's maximum hilarity. Is it going to be a one, which would just be funny, to double my gold dice? That's, no, it's just, it's not even funny. It's value. One is value. We're going to call that value. Are we going to get 60 hours of speed ups, four epic material chests? Are we going to land on the silver die? And then it's just hilarious. I mean, like, live stream worthy moments. Or, I mean, hey, we double the blue chest. What's it going to be? One, two, three. Four, five, or six. I, If I were betting, and this is not how dice rolling works, but if I was betting, based on the number of times I've landed on this stupid stone spot, I'm going to land there. Um, thank you, Ed Watson, for the $5 super chat. Much appreciated. Cheers to you. I'm getting pity donations in addition to pity likes on the video. We got 40 pity likes on the video. That's really funny. Okay. Chat, chat's rocking a, just an unbelievable amount of fours, threes, some twos. Are you all rooting for me to get bad rolls at this point? What is happening right now? Okay. Roll the dice, just school. Roll the dice. What do we got? One, two, three would be fantastic. Two. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. 60 hours of speed ups. I like speed ups. I need to train troops. I got a troop problem. I got, well, is it a problem? Let me correct that. I got a cavalry problem. And it's not really a problem because I kind of have like one and a half million cavalry between T4 and T5. But, you know, I used to have two and a half million T5 cavalry. Whatever. We're going to keep rolling the dice. This spot is really wacky. This spot is really wacky. One is amazing. Four is amazing. Six is amazing. I mean, if I knew I was going to land here, I wouldn't have used the gold die. But I didn't know that, so here we go. Here we go. Silver die is in. <laughs> that was literally the only spot that could suck. So that happened. That happened. I have a hard time believing that this event is random. I, I hate to say it out loud, but I'm just going to say that I have, I just saw, sometimes I have a hard time believing I'm rolling a six-sided die. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I need? I know what I'm doing next time. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing next time. Next time, this is going to be really funny. Okay, 50. We've done 50 spins, four more epic material crates for the effort. I'll take it. And four blues. I mean, so it's like five epic crates for the effort. I mean, 
The game is giving me an A for effort. Can't win them all, says Ed. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Gareth rocking the rip emojis. You see, this is why we have rip emojis. Did you enter the content creator's redeem code? No, hold on. Let me go do that, Gecko. Let me go enter the top secret content creator's code. That code is creator plus loot. Oh, I can't even, there's not enough characters. Fine. Plus loot. Okay. Special code. I can't even use. <laughs> Maybe if I put a one at the end and a two and a three. Hold. Okay. Hold on. I got it. No, no, no. It must be T-Y. Oh, I can't do an exclamation point. That's fine. Like that. The special creator code has been entered. Exchange. Invalid. <laughs> All right. There is no code. <laughs> but now that we've entered the top secret code, our luck is totally going to turn around, right? I mean, this actually, we're in an amazing spot. I did say that this is a good spot if I had a gold die. I don't. A one is amazing. Um, a six is amazing. <laughs> CCRD 2020. Come on, brah. Content creator redeem code 2020. I see what you did there, Gecko. I see what you did there. I'm going to roll the silver dice and hope for the best. Of course we didn't get the best. Of course we didn't. What do you think it's going to be for this next silver die? Is it going to be double? Is it going to be gold or material chests? Is it going to be the speed ups? The material chests, or am I going to get a big fat donut up top? Is it going to be the starting spot? While you put your responses into the chat, allow me to take a moment to introduce Gecko Gaming, who's been here hanging out in the stream. He's also a content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. You definitely should go check out his content, especially if you like Civil Wars. <laughs> Gecko covers the heck out of those. He is also a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. Oh, gosh. So what does chat think? One, four, six, six. Two is a magnet. Six, six, four. Speed ups. Six, six, four. Wow. Chat overwhelmingly believes that I am going to land on the starting spot. I don't think it's going to happen. Hey! <laughs> Well, now we still could land on the starting spot, but the rewards will be doubled. How bad could it be? Let's find out where we land. The rewards are doubled. If we get a two, it would be very redeeming right now. That would just be very cathartic. Uh, a four will be good. A three will be good. Well, because it was doubled, we're going to count that as two more times landing on the old starting spot. So that's uh, four times on the starting spot. Yay. <sighs> Best commander for defense? Um, depends on how far along you are into the game. I mean, I think it's going to be Theodora and Yisun Shin. Chad is losing their mind. <laughs> Black Knight with the rip emojis. <laughs> Baby Shark said lol said it. Oh my god. At least you all are getting entertainment. At, at least somebody gets a laugh out of this as my gems just piss away. I mean, whatever. Let's keep rolling the dice and hope for the best. Better than all the rest. Uh, we get three spots forward landing on a blue trophy. Very solid. Silver dot... So we got a reverse change, a direction reverse, a reverse change. I can't even, I can't even. That is our seventh direction reverse in this live stream. <laughs> Silence is golden. 
H is cool. What's the best archer civilization at City Hall 21? At City Hall 21, I don't think you should be thinking about best archers or best cavalry or, you know, don't don't worry about your civilization until you get to City Hall 25. Then you'll know what you want to do um, and you won't end up changing it again later. If you want a detailed video that covers that though, there's actually, I think, a link in the description of this video for civilization swaps. Should cover that in great detail for you. And thank you uh, for the $5 pity donation we got a five dollar pity donation one moment while i pull that up and struggle with my controls holy jeez cr dude 91 appreciate the super chat never a dull moment it seems in evil candy land never a dull moment in evil candy land Oh my. Well, wow, that money is going, says Tolga. Black Knight with the $5 super chat as well. Double the pity donation for double the start roll. Oh, I mean, it's something. It sure is something. Thank you very much for the super chat. Much appreciated. John says, feel like I'm watching a setup. Epics all the way for Chiss. Lucky zombie for Chiss cool. <laughs> uh, hit or miss. Well, today, we're all thumbs. It's all mess. You'd think being all thumbs is a good thing for a mobile game, but no. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Here we are, rocking the silver dice back around the board. Two is good for the speed up glory. A one would be amazing for the materials. Of course not. Building speed ups instead as we make our way back around the board. Five or six are some pretty sweet rolls around the bend. Two is a totally fine roll, and we find ourselves now with two gold dice in a very solid stretch of territory. Do I use my gold dice? Gosh darn it, I think we do. A one is amazing, a two is fantastic, um, a four is hilarious. Here, the six moves us forward, so drop it in the chat. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? The speed ups, the materials, the gold? The 2X modifier, the uh, blueprints, or do I get jumped all the way forward to the two material crates? Where will we land? If it's anything like how it's been so far, let me advise you. I think that a four is a likely roll, and then I'll roll a four again to land on research speedups. I'm just guessing. I could also, as a hilarious sequence of things, roll a four and then roll a six and end up with the direction reversal, which would be pretty outrageous. Chat is almost unanimously in agreement that I'm going to get a four, which is kind of remarkable. So here we go. We're going to rock the gold dice. Ankit, one of the only dissenters, saying a two. <laughs> gold dice coming in hot. Here we are. Where will we go? Three. I mean, it certainly could have been worse for me. We get the gold. Gold is good. And we're going to do the gold dice again. We're going to do the gold dice again because we could get the 2x spot. We could get the plus 3, which gives us some more epic chests. We could get the material choice chest. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. We could go for the lulls. I mean, this could be interesting. This could be interesting. Where will this roll go? Are we going to end up with a five is really the question I have. <laughs> Are we going to end up with a five? Material chest? Material chest? You know, it's funny. At first I glanced over and I saw material chest and I read it as medieval chest in my head. I don't know why I thought that. Chiskul, you will get the material chest. Well, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Can I please show my speed ups? Yeah, I can show my speed ups. While chat is tabulating where we're going to land, how are our speed ups looking these days? Here are the training speed ups, research speed ups. Got a lot of research speed ups these days. Healing speed ups, a fair amount of healing speed ups. Um, and our universals are looking pretty, uh, pretty saucy. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could gain 20 million power right now. I'm pretty sure I could pull down like 20 mil. I think it could pull down 20 mil power. I think we could do that. So, chat tabulated what they think it's going to be. Let's see what we actually end up on. I'm hoping 
for a four and a one would be I mean a one and then a three would be kind of the dream but let's not go crazy okay here we are gold die is in two it is two it is more blueprints that I don't particularly need let's see what happens next as we make our way around the board hey <laughs> baby we did it I mean better late than never am I right Better late than never? Can 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 I get an amen? Better late than never. Better late than never. As we put our epic chest count still under the number of times we've landed on a direction reverse or a starting spot. Now, you know what's funny about that? Do you know what's funny about that? Do you know what's really funny about that? I mean, it could just be chance, but let me just throw this out there. There are one, two, three, four spots that award epic chess. And there are two spots that wreck me. And I have landed on those two spots more time than the other four spots. I see you. I see you, game. I see you, game. I see you. Could just be chance. Thank you for the 50 CZK donation. Christopher Kren, all my research at level nine, working on castle to power through to all T5 research at once. What event should I do? Klein bottles are one-sided, by the way. Uh-oh. Um, gosh. What event should I do? You know... If you're really going over the top, Christopher, if you're really going over the top, the event that you want to do, if you're interested in a city skin, is going to be for this Melk Abbey. Now, look, this is going to be probably a power gain event, probably in the next week or two, I would guess, for the Dragon Boat Festival. If you're in the market for a cavalry skin, this is probably going to be a cross-continent event. Every kingdom in your continent. And if I remember correctly, you need to be in the top 10 or 20 to get a city skin. It's a very fierce competition. But there's something that's working in your favor. If you have outrageous, and I do mean outrageous amounts of speed-ups. Outrageous amounts of speed-ups. Then what you can do is you can convert your T4 to T5. That gives you huge amounts of point gain because the amount of power you gain is the difference between the two troop types. T4s are worth 4 points. T5s are worth 10 points. But the amount of speedups it takes to upgrade a T4 to a T5 is very low compared to training new T5. So if you think you can gain between... 16 and 20 million power, depending a lot on your continent. And look, go to your continent, see what other kingdoms you're up against here. Then you could go for this Melk Abbey. I think that would be pretty legit if you are swimming in speed ups. If you're not, then you're probably looking, um, I don't even know, maybe, maybe just a generic power gain event. Get your 20 legendary heads and you could call it with that. Hopefully that answers your question. And thank you, Baby Shark, for the $10 KO Super Chat. Much appreciated, my friend. Much appreciated. So, we're back in business over here. Where did we last leave off? Hey, we landed somewhere good. We've got four chances remaining. There's still time left for some hilarious stuff. A three could get pretty crazy and, I mean, a five would be fantastic. Let's see where we go. I will take it. Wow. Wow. It's almost like I needed to call out that it seemed not random. And then suddenly we land on the good stuff. Maybe it's just random. Uh, we're up to 12 epic chess. Spartan, welcome to the stream. Spartan saying he got shafted. Well, you can see how we did. You can see how we did. We've done 60 rolls almost, not including the gold uh, dice. And we got 12 epics, 7 direction reversals, and 4 of the starting spot across all our rolls. That sticker helped. You know, Baby Shark, maybe the sticker did do the trick. 
Maybe it's the sticker that is the lucky charm here. I'll take it. I'll take it as we make our way back around the board. One or a two would be the jam. Hey, <laughs> fished my wish. 30 hours of speed ups is really good. Just for perspective, you go into the VIP shop, 600 gems gets you a 24 hour speed up. So 650 gems for 30 hours of speed ups is pretty gosh darn good. I'll take that. And it's not insane. It's just good. It's definitely good. I'm going to spin again. Whew. Okay. I just converted a silver die into a gold die. I like the sound of that. It's kind of like landing on a 2x spot, but I get to use it wherever I want. And that one I'll have to use tomorrow at some point to get some value with a gold die because I've only got one spin left. And we are definitely not in gold die territory. Definitely not in getting in that gold die territory. So here we go. Let's rock this out. That luck is going to like zero to 100. Seriously. You should track the research and building speed ups. Now we're rolling, baby. I refuse to spend the 325 gems, says John. Oh my gosh. Chat saying get to enter the the gear king. Hello, Spartan. <laughs> wow, Spartan, you got a bit of a reputation here. You got a bit of a reputation. We have a story about Spartan, actually. We have a story about Spartan. We'll tell it in just a second. I'm sure he won't mind. Here we are. We're going to roll the silver dice. Oh my God. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Someone in the chat said it's not too late to get a two. Oh, man. Uh, well, two seems good, says the chat. I told you you would get a material chest. Well, well, this is no material chest. That's no moon. That's no moon. Well, now I'm feeling a little froggy. And bad things happen when I feel froggy. I'm going to use the gold die right now to round this sucker out. I'm going to use the gold die to round this out. Are we going to get the gold die again, which I really like as an outcome? Am I going to get 60 hours of speed ups, four epic chests, or extreme hilarity if we roll a six? What's it going to be, chat? What's it going to be? Or is it going to be this stone magnet over here with the five? Where will we land? How will it go? Kata says, I told you a two. Mm. Chiscool, can you show Martel's skill tree or talent tree for Garrison? Sure. While Chad is rolling in with their predictions, we'll show Charles Martel talents. Here is what I am using right now to protect my own city. So my money where my mouth is. Charles Martel, city defense build. Check out my video where I talk about why I think this build is the jam. I did it very recently, like this week. Uh, you don't want to miss it. It gives a full explanation. Full explanation of why we like that build. Ugh. Chat's got a lot to say. Six, five, five, six, four, six, two, five, of course. Six, five, six, uh, who the heck knows where we're going to end up. All I know, ooh, gold nodes back in action. Hold the phone. We got a gold node cooking up, baby. Preset is in. Okay, so let's do the thing. Where will we land? Um, here we go. Gold die. Two. Hey, baby. Doubled. We did it. We did it. Who said two? Shamans said all caps two. He was the last one to say two before I got this. All right, Shamans. I'm, I'm speaking to you. I want you to pick what I'm going to get next. 
Shamans in the chat is choosing what I will probably get next with this gold die roll. Should I roll the gold die here though? No. Will I roll the gold die here? I think so. I think... <laughs> Okay, make your prediction without cursing, though. I can't show that chat because you cursed. <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. I like your prediction. I'll tell I'll tell you what he predicted. You'll just have to take my word for it. Shamans is predicting that I get another two. Which means that I should roll the gold die right now. That's how that works. I roll the gold die, and even if I land here, gosh forbid, if I land over here, it's the next, it's literally the best spot for a gold die going in this direction. So, let's do this, baby. Extra rolls, extra, extra, roll in the dice. Where will we land? I don't know. But Shaman's made a prediction. He said two with a swear word in front of it. So I'm pretty sure a swear word. I said that out loud. This is a family-friendly channel. What were you expecting? Here we go, rolling the dice, come on. A one. Hey, not bad. Really not bad. 60 hours of speed ups out of the deal. I mean, I mean. All right, shamans. You predicted something good for me twice. So I'm asking you again, predict for me where you think this is going to land, okay? Everybody should watch in the chat for what Shamans is going to say. This could be it. This could be the good one. This could be, look at we could get the, this spot is actually very, very good, okay? If I get a one, four chests. If I get a two, okay, st I get stoned. Three, silver dice, Hilarious outcome for a live stream. Four, two blue chests, not bad. Five, pretty non-optimal. Six, I get six epic chests. The five, by the way, is uh, going to be research speed ups. For those of you that are listening to me be ridiculous rather than actually watching, which is pretty reasonable. You know, when I watch videos on YouTube, I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm doing the dishes or, you know, I gotta like take care of the baby, which, you know, that's a thing. I got a baby. Needs, needs caring for. What's it going to be? Five was the next prediction. You rolled a one. So, oh, interesting. Shamans predicted a five and I rolled a one. Then I guess we're just winging it. I guess we're just winging it. I guess we're just winging it. We're rolling the cold dice. Oh, a six would be so good. Here we go. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was almost a six. It was almost a six. Well, Definitely doesn't qualify as uh, what we were looking for. Uh, I said five, said Anas. OMG, lols, bad luck, ha ha, I predicted it. GG, F. <laughs> well, looks like we could stand to do a little restocking of ye old jemmies. We could do a little restocking of the gems. So uh, we'll pull up the hammer and anvil. Uh, let's see here. Let's get, uh, yeah, nope, not what I was looking for. That, that guy, that guy up on the board, that guy up on the board, we'll put away for a moment. We'll just put away the listing of all of those rolls and we'll start to buy some packs. The funny thing is that I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get more materials from this than I did from all the other stuff. All right. Um, boom. 
$5 bundle is in. And interesting, it rearranged things. Now here is the $10 bundle. Bunch of goodies in here. Put that up. Make the purchase. Double click to pay. Bada boom. All right. Purchase is all set. And look at that. One epic chest out of the deal over here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. One epic, two blues contained in here. Here we go. Put up ye old spen blocker. The hammer and anvil, everybody. Hammer and anvil. You get less speed ups, but more materials. And these days, equipment is looking really important. All right, there we go. And here's four more epic material chests. I think we definitely get more material crates just doing this than spending all those gems. Although we only spent... Well, we only spent 40,000 gems. Whatever, chess cool. Okay, um, we're going to put the old spend blocker back up. And we'll rock this out. 50 bucks. Bada boom. Nice. Okay. And purchase is successful. If only we could buy this bundle three times. As weird as that is to say out loud. Lot of material crates contained within this. One legendary chest, two epics, um, technically three and a half epics if you just round up those blues. So nearly two legendary materials in the old hammer and anvil and some amount of speed ups to go along with it. A little bit of resources along with the, the deal. Here we go. $100 bundle. Bada boom. Purchase is in. We're all set. Hammer and anvil bundle. Good to go. We're back up to 60,000 gems. That's a healthy amount of gems. We could do a few things with that amount of gems. Hopefully, we end up with some better luck next time. If you're interested in seeing me roll the dice again, Consider dropping a like on the video to show support to the channel. Even a pity like will do. And consider subscribing for more daily Rise of Kingdoms videos and for notifications when we go live with more content just like this. This was a lot of fun to do. I appreciate all of your support, even though we got a little bit wrecked, which we definitely did. We definitely did. Pulling up that old scoreboard over here. Pulling up the scoreboard, you can see exactly how we did up top over there. 40,000 gems for 12 epic chests is definitely a little concerning. We landed on epic chests as many times as we landed on things that give us literally no value whatsoever, which is a little funky because there are twice as many spaces that deliver epic chests as there are that do not. Um... Whatever. We're going to head out for now. Thank you for being here. Much appreciated. And thank you again to everybody who donated. I'm just going to shout out everyone who made a donation today. Ali Emra, Christopher Kren, Devil's Knights, Black Knight, Devil's Knights and Black Knight again, Sea Dog, Christopher Kren, Baby Shark, Majid, Ali B became a member of the channel. Buck, Ed Watson, CR Dude91, Black Knight, Christopher Kren, Baby Shark. Yeah. Thank you all for your support. I feel like I might have been missing a couple member editions in that feed. Maybe those were subscriptions though. Sea Dog became a member and Black Knight became a member. I knew I was missing something. There we go. All right. We're out, y'all. You have fun. Smashing the kingdom.